Understanding your users is one of the most important parts of building any sort of software product. And the best way to do that when building web applications is analytics. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and today on Demos with Angular, we're going to be taking a look at using Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager to install and set up the codes and then configure our router to listen to those events and report them back to the server. In order to get started adding analytics to our project, we're going to do this in two stages. So first, we're going to set up the Angular project, and then we will go and get the tracking information and add that into our project. So let's go ahead and use the Angular CLI, and let's choose yes that we want to generate routing. Uh, we don't really care about the CSS that it's going to be using. So as soon as this package is created, we're going to jump into that uh, analytics project and workspace, and we will take a look at what we've been given. We should also be able to, at the same time, jump into the analytics folder and run ng-serve here. So let's go ahead and give this a try, and we'll jump into analytics, and let's pop open VS Code to take a look at the project. So this is a normal Angular CLI project. We've got a routing module here configured. And when we want to be thinking about adding analytics into a project, it's important to think that we want to be listening for navigation end events. So that's any time that the router has decided, hey, an event has happened, and that event is a navigation event, and that event has completed. Uh, and so the way that we can do this is we can listen to that anywhere in our application globally, but we only want to do it at exactly one time. And so my favorite place to put code that we're running exactly once for our application is in the root component. So what I can do here is I can get the constructor, and we will use the dependency injection system to get a handle on the router. And then what we can do is the router has this very nice property called events. So if we take a look at router.events, this is an observable of router events. And what we can do is we can use the power of RxJS to actually filter these events and only get those events where the event is an instance of navigation end. And what this should allow us to do as soon as we import filter from RxJS slash operators is we should now be able to save this as uh, navigation end event. So we could just say const nav end events equals this. And what we can do is because we know that the constructor here, this subscription is going to live exactly one time, this will never be torn down, this will never be reinstantiated, we can just subscribe to this observable right now. So we'll say nav end events dot subscribe and we're going to get out of this an event of type navigation end event. And then what we can do is for each of these, what we're going to want to do is we're going to send that up to the analytics suite. So in order to do that, we're going to need handle on the analytics console and the Google Tag Manager tools. So if we take a look at Google Analytics, uh, it's pretty easy to create a new property. You just hit create property. You give it a couple pieces of data, and then you hit get tracking ID. I already have a tracking ID for this router test, so we'll just click directly into that. Uh, this should look exactly the same if you are creating a new one. And what you see is here's a bunch of code that you need to add to your application, and we will use this code and we'll make a couple small modifications. So we will go ahead and take this code. Let's go ahead and jump into our index.html file, and we will paste this into our application. Now, there's a couple things that we're going to want to do. We're going to want to take out this config because this is actually the line of code that sends out a page view from the analytics suite. So we're going to remove that. And we're going to wire that into our app component so that this is only happening whenever we get one of these nice events. Uh, you'll note that this gtag function is not really defined. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just override the type system and say declare var uh, gtag. And what that will do is that will turn this into an any because we know that it's coming from the window object. And now we can call that function directly in our subscription. And this is a normal uh, navigation event from the Google Tag Manager Analytics integration. But what we're going to do is we're going to add in some extra data here. So the thing that we're going to add into it is a page path. And the value of that page path is going to be the event that we're taking in. And we're going to say URL after redirects. Now, the nice thing here is that uh, we've got the Google Tag configuration, we're configuring it, we're sending it up the URL that the user has requested, and that really should be it. If we want to test this successfully, we should probably add a couple routes. So let's just go ahead and make uh, home and an about route. We'll just call this one home, we'll just call this component 
home component. These don't actually exist. I'll create them in a moment. And we'll create an about component. So these don't exist yet, so let's go create them using our CLI. So we're going to say ngg home, excuse me, ngg component home, and we'll ngg a about component. And we should be able to then use the imports to import these nicely. They should be declared in our app module. Perfect. Uh, and we just want to do one final thing, which is call this the about path. So if we go into our application, we should be able to say slash about, and that should load the about component if we had a reference to it, which we can just add really quick. We can just say router outlet. Now we've got a reference to it. So about works just fine. And if we go to home, home should work just fine as well. Let's get rid of that spare character here. All right. And if we take a look at our dev tools, we should be able to see that whenever we load one of these pages, we are getting that nice router event triggering out our analytics. So it's triggering it out for slash now. If we go to slash about, we should see that it triggers it for slash about. And if we built into our application a couple links, so maybe we make a little nav section, and we say a uh, router link equals call this one home. And if we do the exact same thing for about, so we have a couple links on the page, we'll note that our application shouldn't need to fully reload in order for those events to be triggered. So if we just clear this out here, and we hit home, we're going to see that event. When we click about, we're going to see that event. And those events are going to correspond to the URLs that we've set. So with that couple minor changes, so set up routing as we normally do, uh, include the Google Tag Manager code here in our index.html, and then pull that in in our app component and wire it up to the navigation and events, we have finished. Now that we've taken a look at how to set up and install Google Analytics using the Google Tag Manager library, hopefully you're able to build better applications and connect better with your users. See you in the next one.